Brooke and I were going out for drinks when you called. Is this news about Alex? New development? Well, it's not encouraging. The uh, trace we had on our phone call. They couldn't pinpoint the origin? No, no, they bounced it from one location to another. Finally, they couldn't track it back. So we're back to square one. Well, we, we, we know that Alex is alive, and we, we have to hold on to that. And not give up hope? Yeah. We are going to bring her home, OK? We're going to find Alex if we have to move heaven and earth. Dimitri. Dimitri, just the man I want to see. Do you hear the doorbell? Uh, what, uh, what brings you on such a cold night, Erica? Dimitri, I, I have a favor to ask you. I've had a brainstorm about, about my upcoming enchantment campaign. I'm, I'm thinking uh, rustic. I'm thinking earth tones. I'm thinking back to nature. I'm thinking of a number from 1 to 10. I think that the stables would be the perfect backdrop. The stables here at Wildwind, perfect backdrop for my next shoot. Oh, for the Mr. and Mrs. Ed campaign. Uh, no, but, for the Miss Young Enchantment campaign. Wait, wait, wait. wait. The, the, this means that you and Bianca have patched things up. Look, Bianca has made it very, very clear to me that she does not want to be a model for enchantment, or anything else for that matter. But I found another girl, Shannon, a, a girl at the high school. She's feminine, she's frilly, she's fun. Erica, you fired your daughter because she's gay? Man, it is too cold to breathe. Uh, it beats the deep freeze at home. Bianca, your mom's just... She's just running scared. Like, I'm not. It's my life, Laura, but she's the one that gets to throw tantrums and say the most hurtful, hateful things. She's just not thinking straight. <laughs> thinking straight is what she does best. You just... You gotta give her some time and some space. I have, I have, Laura, believe me. But I can't give her what she wants most, which is for me to stop being gay. You know, if I asked her to stop being straight, she'd self-destruct. <laughs> so, on to plan B. She, uh, hires a surrogate daughter to smile big for the cameras and waits for another guy to come along and make her life complete. That is so not me, and it has nothing to do with my being gay. I don't need anybody to tell me who I am. Well, you go, girl. <laughs> now, if I could only say that to my mom's face. Bianca, do you, you get the feeling that we're not alone? No. Quit trying to scare me. No, I mean it. I... The hairs on my neck are saluting. You think there's someone out there? Let's go check it out. the nasty to clog your um, karma. Yeah, well, next time try yoga. It's quiet. No, yoga's for the body. Screaming is for the mind. Yeah, you've already lost yours. Any man crazy enough to brave the winter cold to scream his guts out must have spent the night with Greenlee Smythe. Oh, smarty face. I have an announcement to make. I'm officially over Greenlee Smythe. So now what? Going to Disney World? Maybe. I have no immediate plans. All I know is things are looking up. Yeah, want to test that prediction? I'll be right back. How dare you? And yet, how typical. Forever jumping to the wrong conclusion. No, I certainly did not fire my daughter. Erica, why did you decide to use another model? Well, as I told you, Dimitri, Bianca has made it extremely clear that she does not want to model. And so I, I saw this girl, and, and she had the look, and I, I just, you know, I seized the moment. And when did the moment occur? At the high school. 
Erica, I dropped you off at the high school to talk with Bianca, not to go on a, ta a talent search. Demetri, I was not on a talent search. But, I mean, who am I to fly in the face of, of inspiration? Did you, did you speak with Bianca? Yes, of course I did. Is she all right? Yes, she is. Bianca is, is all right. I, on the other hand, I have a multi-million dollar company I need to salvage with this new ad campaign. And, and so I'm wondering, Dimitri, will you walk me down to the stables? Would you consider allowing me to use this as my next location? Um, would you guys very much if, um, I had a minute to talk to Erica? Am I not in the room? No, that's fine. Listen, uh, we have some calls to make in the study. Yeah, a uh, quick, quick call. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, then, Dimitri, I'll, I'll just wait here for you. Yeah, just, just a quick call. Okay. Who do you think you are? This is not even your home. I mean, who do you think you are to give orders? Can we talk as one mother to another? I have nothing to say to you. Well, then I suggest that you sit down, because I have a lot to say to you. If you think for one minute that I'm going to stand here while you sit in judgment of me... Erica, I am not judging you. But maybe your conscience is. Oh, spare me the dime store, Freud. You know, editing a magazine doesn't give you the knowledge or the right to analyze me. You know, maybe a few sessions on the couch would help you come to grips with this fear that you have. I'm not afraid of anything. Oh, bull! You're afraid of your own daughter. Oh, this is totally absurd. Is it? You know, when Laura told me that Bianca was the one who pushed her over the yacht railing and left her to drown, I didn't want to believe it because Bianca is a sensitive, caring young girl. It didn't seem possible that she could do something that was so terrible. On the other hand, it didn't stop you from running right away to confront me with it and spreading that filthy lie that Bianca did it. And I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I really am. I was wrong, and I apologized. But what was... What depressed me then and what upsets me now is that Bianca... Her, her willingness to let people believe something so terrible about her in, or, in order to keep her secret. Her secret, as you call it, is none of your business. It's everybody's business. There are teenagers all across this country, all across the world, young men and young women, who would literally rather die than not have their parents love or have their disapproval, and it's not right. Bianca is not someone to be ashamed of. How dare you? Of course I'm not ashamed of Bianca. And look at you. Isn't it easy for you to be so objective? I mean, none of this is happening to you. It might have. I mean, my daughter died young. I don't know what kind of a young woman she would have turned out to be. You have another daughter. You have an adopted daughter. And are you saying to me if she came to you and she announced that she was gay, that you'd say, oh, all right, that's it? Is that what you want me to believe? I love Laura. You know, whoever she is, whoever she turns out to be, she will always have my love and my blessing. Really? Liar! What's that? It's a fortune telling board. I got it in Hong Kong. You keep it in your car? Yeah, well, it's more reliable than radio traffic reports. So you guys want to sneak a peek at the future? What, you don't believe my forecast? What, that you're really and truly over Greenlee? That you won't end up married and waiting in the limo while she shops till she drops. And that's not gonna happen, believe me. All right, let's see what the spirits have to say. Fine. Rev this puppy up. All right. What do we do? Okay. So, everybody sits with your knees touching. <sighs> right. <laughs> and place your fingertips lightly on the pointer. Well, you go first. Eeny, meeny, chilly, beanie, the spirit's about to speak. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, fine, fine. All right. Uh, uh, spirits of the board? Will Greenlee and Smythe and I get back together? Well, so are you. 
Oh, what? Like, I care what happens between you and Greenland. Laura, why don't you ask the question now? Okay. Will I get into Pine Valley University? Congratulations, Miss Coet, thanks. Uh, okay, Bianca, you're next. All right. I hear that these things can let you, like, communicate with the spirit. Like, talk to people who have passed over. You mean dead people? Yeah. Bianca, is there somebody you want to contact? Well, I know it sounds kind of silly, but... It would be really neat to talk to my dad. Really, Brooke? Your daughter announces that she's gay, and you have no problem with it. Why is that so hard for you to believe? Well, aren't you just so politically correct? Brooke, I'm talking about your daughter. She looks you in the eye, and she tells you that she is sexually attracted to women. And in the space of a minute, your life changes. And your daughter is suddenly someone who you, you don't even know. Why? Because she's not like you? I mean, why, why is that the end of the world? Because she will be hurt. Because not everybody is as tolerant as you say you are. Come on, Brooke. You know what it's like in this town. You know how people just take everybody else's business. They don't care. They'll put a label on her. They'll stare at Bianca. So make her feel unwelcome in her own hometown. Are we still talking about Bianca? Are you implying that I am concerned about my own public image? It doesn't take a psychiatrist to know that your image is everything to you. You know, your public, their approval, their adoration, this news about Bianca might tarnish your shining star. Oh, you don't know anything about me. Erica, I've known you a long time. I've known you to use your beauty and your looks to validate your existence and the men in your life, you can't imagine a world without a man in it telling you how beautiful you are. Oh, I know what this is all about. You're jealous. Oh, of you? I wouldn't trade my life for yours for anything. Well, you wouldn't know what to do with my life if you had it. Because you know something, you're right. I have spent my life being loved by men while you've spent yours being victimized. Touche. Yes, I have made a lot of bad choices in my life and I hopefully have learned from my mistakes. Erica, Bianca needs you to love her and accept her for who she is. And if you can't do that as beautiful as you are, how will you be able to look at yourself in the mirror? I think you need to get a life. So you stop obsessing on mine. Uh, Brooke, we gotta get going. We're gonna miss that meeting with the art director. I'll wait for you in the car. Dimitri. Anything new on Alex, you let me know. You got it. Are you all right? Oh, you mean after being skewered by Brooke English? Well, what, uh, you know, I don't, whatever Brooke said. Dimitri, am I monster? Bianca, are you sure you want to mess with this? Why? Is it dangerous? No, but it's real. I mean, it's not a game. Cut it out, Laura. You're scaring her. Well, Leo, you might not be a believer, but I am. The spirits of the people who've passed on are with us all the time. They just need help getting in touch. All right, let's set this baby to warp speed dial. Hey, uh, oh. You have to be sincere for this to work. Okay, all right, okay. If I must. Okay, Bianca. Whenever you're ready. What do I say? Just call out your dad's name and talk to him. It's me. I, I really, really miss you a lot. I think about you all the time. And I feel, I know, 
You're with me. Daddy, I have this problem that I need to talk to you about. B. E. P. a monster. I don't know what Brooke said. I... I don't want to think about what Brooke said anyhow. Dimitri, I, I don't want to be a horrible person. I love Bianca. I love Bianca more than anything in the world. I just keep playing these, these thoughts through my head over and over and over again. And I just... It's very difficult. Okay. Okay, now, why don't you sit down here, and I want you to do yourself a favor. I want you to stop thinking for the rest of the night. I want you to just be Erica. Be Erica? You mean be, be myself? Mm -hmm. Is that enough? It always has been. Well, then I won't apologize for needing you. <laughs> 